so look what we have here we have the pen and teller magic kit uh, as you can see this is some stuff uh, some other magic props that i will show you later but this is a pen and teller magic kit right here this is uh, supposed to be to be for my birthday and please keep in mind that whatever day this is published doesn't mean that that day is my birthday could be some delay due to editing okay and also i do not feel comfortable saying what day my birthday is and how old of age i am turning okay so we have some tricks here that i'm going to show you but uh if you're planning to get this for um someone else who likes who likes magic I would highly recommend this because there's some easy stuff and some fun stuff to learn as well. So this is called the money maker. If you put a piece of paper in here and you roll it up like so, it actually makes money, converts it into one American dollar bill right here. Nice. So that was the money maker. That is a cool trick. Um, if you didn't know, you actually um, insert the money from here like this if you reverse the trick you can you know say the money actually turns into um paper so you can reverse the trick to make it a little more uh, unique supposedly you can say um yeah here is another one memory test not memory test sorry um uh, mind reading so you can just pick any animal. Obviously, I don't have a spectator, but to pick any animal, you can look away. Turn. Right. Say so you say stop right here. You say this is your animal. My finger's pointing out. Okay. Then I put the box and pick the lid. There you go. Okay. So now I'm going to try to think of what your animal is. Okay. Was your animal the fish? Let me see if I'm correct. Oh, your animal was actually the fish. So that's a pretty good trick. There's also this trick, but it's not really the greatest. Um, I think that was really easy for beginners, but I'm not gonna do that one. Um, here is uh, an illusion. So here we have two. We have a pen and teller. So which one is taller? Let's see. So it looks like teller ends up being taller than pen. But if you swap the rolls, if you swap the rolls, teller actually ends up being uh, shorter than pen. But if you line them up, it's actually equal. So that's a pretty cool one as well. See one looks uh, longer than the other, swap rolls. One looks shorter than the other, but it's actually the same size. Okay, so here we have pen and teller. So I want to ask you to please point at one of them. So let's say person uh, goes to pen, point at pen. But I knew you would pick pen because... That's what it says. I know you would pick pen. I'm just backwards, my back and I'll switch it, but it says, I knew you would pick pen. Let's say they don't pick pen. Let's say they pick this one. But I actually knew you would pick the and because none of the cards actually have printing on them. So uh, these tricks is a little, it's, I mean, it's not too bad, but uh, I'm kind of revealing it to you. And then if they pick teller, there's a prediction I made. And if I open it, Here's what in was inside. Teller. So I knew you would pick Teller. So that's a pretty fun mind reading trick to do. It's not the greatest, but um, it's a magic kit. It's meant to be easy for the consumer or customer to use. Um, I think that is all of the tricks. I mean, there is, there is more. There's a cardboard cutout. Oh, and also, we have this book here. 125 uh, card tricks that I believe uh, perform with perfectly with the ordinary deck of cards. So those are some tricks I will do later 
in other videos but this is just uh going over what's inside pretty much so there's some cardboard cutouts um puzzles and other things you can do well here's uh, another cool illusion sorry it looks messy uh, i took all the cardboard cutouts so it would fit in the box more easily Here it is. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So here we have. Let's see. Let's count the magician. Let's see how many we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But if you end up switching the places, let's count how many do we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's an interesting one. So somehow we went from 13 to 12. That's a really interesting uh, cardboard cutout as well. Um, here they have a card supposedly to palm a card, palm the queen, but my fingers aren't really this big. And plus, the tone, the color is different. My hand is a little more reddish, so yeah, I think that would look unnatural. Trying to palm the card. Doesn't really look like my hand though. Here comes with a little card. Uh, says, hey pal, when you send a postcard by magic, you don't need a stamp. Try it yourself, set the stamp aside, turn over the picture and assemble the picture. And then it has autograph with them. Uh, Pretty sure it's just our signature. Pretty sure it's just, uh, you know, by machine because they probably don't have time to personally sign your card. And I'm not sure what they mean. Like, try it yourself, but supposedly, I'm not sure if you cut it and you're supposed to solve what they're doing. But, um, yeah, very interesting. And there's some things here I'm supposed to put together, which is also in the book for the magic kit. But I really haven't looked at that yet. I was just getting to the main part, which was the, the props. So that's pretty much it. Um, that really including uh, this fool everyone uh, card tricks. I haven't got to that yet. But in the future, I will. And I haven't got to all cardboard cutouts. Because this uh, channel is supposed to mainly be things that you can do as well. So those card tricks you can do. Um, this one you can do also. It's pretty simple. Oh, well, you already saw that flap. But pretty simple. Set it down. Looks like it's balanced if you from the front view. And then you can just put anything on top. Not really. Okay. Well, that wasn't really even surface. But you, you get the point. So it looks like it's balancing the card. And, oh, all right, that didn't work as I thought it would. But uh, yeah, you just pretty much have two cards, fold one, bend one, so it looks like this. Then you can just stack if you have an even surface. I don't have an even surface, this is pretty much just some sheet and two, so you can see the white background. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tricks. Um, it was pretty fun to learn and perform some of these, especially with the props. So, um, if you're thinking about getting it, you know what to expect if this is up to your standards or what you want to uh, buy for somebody else if they like magic or um, getting into magic and whatnot. So, uh, it's a pretty fun trick. Uh, fun tricks, I should say, to perform for uh, friends and family. And, uh, for yourself for enjoyment it's uh, pretty fun to do so i hope you guys like that trick i'll see you guys in the next one